Hello Monster Jam fans and welcome back to another Monster Jam OCD video. Today we're going to take a look at the final truck from Mix 2 Fire and Ice singles by Spin Master Monster Jam. Welcome back everyone. It is yet again another Fire and Ice review. Today we are wrapping up Mix 2 which has been quite an exciting case of trucks. Of course on the back here you can see the original trucks that came with this case which were Son of a Digger, Mohawk Warrior, Earthshaker, and Gravedigger Ice. And in this case you guys may have uh, remembered this from my previous video. The Pirate's Curse Fire was not out at the time of my filming and it happened to be coming out the week after that uh, video was released so I was looking for it although it was barely seen for the first few weeks after the initial photo of it was released at a Walmart. Uh, after that point, it was found by many people, and I got this one here from my friend Donald Price Jr. on Facebook, our Facebook collecting group. He helped me out and hooked me up at the same price as the store, so I want to thank Donald for helping me get this truck because it's really cool, and I cannot wait to unbox it. So let's check it out. First, I want to talk about the first wave of these trucks, of course, Mix 2A with the other four. So the first truck on the back of the card for Team Fire is the Son of a Digger Monster Truck, my personal favorite for Mix 2's Team Fire trucks. Just a crazy design that I originally did not like as much as the other ones but once I saw it in the toy form and of course the render was not as accurate to the real truck uh, the final product truck that we see here as it should have been uh, I changed my mind completely about Son of Digger Fire and I really really like it it's kind of a bummer that the uh, Team Ice uh, captain chose of course, Ryan Anderson for the All-Star Challenge on Team Ice instead of Team Fire. So we won't see this design become a real truck, but it's very cool to have it in die-cast form. So that was the first one, Team Fire's Son of Digger, and then of course, Team Fire's Mohawk Warrior with now the accurate Mohawk. You can see here the Team Fire flaming Mohawk on the Great Clips Mohawk Warrior. And this was part of Team Fire. And then of course, the other ones we had were the Grave Digger Ice, the teammate to the, or I guess the rival to Team Fire's Grave Digger. And the final one for Team Ice, the second one, Earthshaker, which is another one of my favorites from the Team Ice series uh, for the Spin Master Moss Jam line. So that was Mix 2. Mix 2A, I should say, the first wave. And then in Mix 2B, which is the second wave of the trucks, of course, because there's only four to a case, so they couldn't add the fifth truck in. Uh, the second case wave had the Mohawk Warrior, Son of Digger, Pirate's Curse, and the Ice Grave Digger. Earthshaker unfortunately got the boot and was removed from the Mix 2B assortment. So that actually happened again, and I'll recap real quick what happened in Mix 1. When we originally had Mix 1, we had the Team Fire trucks, the Rottweiler and Grave Digger. And along with those, we had two Team Ice trucks. So you can see here Blue Thunder and Soldier Fortune Ice. Those were in Mix 1A. And then in Mix 1B, we had... Alien Invasion replace Rottweiler. So we had three Team Ice trucks, Soldier Fortune, Blue Thunder, Alien Invasion, and Grave Digger in Mix 1B. And the same thing applies. We had three fire trucks instead of three ice in Mix 2B. So it's kind of a matched pattern. Last time we had more ice trucks than fire. And this time around, as the back of the card shows, we have more fire than ice. So they have been balanced now. The teams are balanced, but we will have a third mix of singles fire and ice trucks, the final mix ever in 2020 as a Moss Jam employees website confirms. So let's unbox the Pirate's Curse now to finish off mix two until 2020 when we see mix three. I cannot wait to unbox this fiery pirate. So here it is, Pirate's Curse. Let's unbox it right now. So this is Fire Pirate's Curse. Of course, it comes with one international complaint card. And here's the fire logo for Pirate's Curse. Very cool. Uh, this thing, I will be honest, was not originally one of my favorites of the design cues, but once I saw it in the final product form, like right now, and when it arrived today in person, it has really grown on me since the first time I saw it. I actually forgot to grab a Pirate's Curse for comparison, so here we go, we can finally compare the trucks. So basically the change from the normal Pirate's Curse to the Fire Pirate's Curse is that the skull has been changed from bones to flames. So basically it's just a flaming skull with a jacket and hat on. Uh, so you can see the flames, of course, the detail of the flames on the side here and of course on the face. And also the jacket color has been changed from gray to dark maroon red. Uh, the one thing I don't agree with with this design is that the hat here is not a darker shade than the jacket as with this, the gray to black. This should be maroon to maybe a dark, dark red. Although the red hat looks cool, it does. It just kind of takes away from the dark colors of the design. But there's a red hat on here. Of course, the bandana has been changed to black, which actually looks really cool. And um, you can see the swords have been changed to yellow. 
uh, from silver originally and the hook has been changed from gold to a bright yellow. So there's the comparison real quick of the side-by-sides to the regular and fire. Of course, the tailgate also getting some flames there and the new Pirate's Curse logo. With that said, we'll take a look at the Fire Pirate's Curse by itself. Uh, so here's the detail of the mouth and the face. You can see it has teeth in there, white teeth with the flames up and down on the skull. And then we have a red window in there, yellow sword or yellow sword here, yellow dagger in the mouth and a red hand. That's very cool. And you can see there a red flaming jacket, some buttons on the jacket, the Pirate's Curse logo in fire, Team Fire Monster logo there. Uh, the Fire Pirates Curse with the fire on the tailgate. And this side, same thing. And there's the hat, the bandana, and of course the fire and ice chassis. Yellow roll cage, red chassis, red rims, and the orange translucent tires with the yellow treads. So this is a great truck. I definitely think it's a strong addition to Team Fire. And I cannot wait for you guys to see the final mix of the singles assortment for Fire and Ice. There's some things that you guys are going to flip out about. So... Fire Pirates Curse, so far, definitely one of the top trucks of the entire Fire team. I gotta say, it's probably in the top five for me personally. And that wraps up the singles assortment of the trucks for Fire and Ice Mix 2. It has been a crazy year of collecting these things. The Fire and Ice lineups have been great, and I really appreciate all the hard work that went into designing these from the designers and, of course, the Moss Jam designers as well. So that has been the review of Mix 2, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think about these trucks in the comments below. Tell me what your favorite is from this mix, and I'll see you guys next time. This is Ryan Armand, OCD, signing out.